Hello, in this segment we're going to go over how to install applications or apps on your Android tablet. Before we begin, it's important to note that currently Google's Android App Store only supports mobile phones and not the vast variety of Android tablets that are available on the market today. Because of this, we're going to use a third-party marketplace called SlideMe. Now to begin, we're going to go over to the Google search bar and type in SlideMe. To do that, just slide your stylus across the screen from left to right, and it will pull up a Google search bar. In that Google search bar, tap it, and it will bring up a quick search box. And just begin typing SlideMe. And there it is, slideme.org. That's what we want. Tap it, and Android will launch a web browser and take you to the web page. Once the web page is loaded, you're going to want to start scrolling to about the middle of the web page where it says Users. Once the web page loads, start scrolling slowly down the web page until you see something that says Download SAM version 4.0, which is along the right hand side of your screen, right here. You're then going to be prompted to select a language that you want to download for. We're going to pick English. And then it'll ask you to save this application. So we're going to select Save. Once the download is complete, you can click on it. Android is now notifying you that there might be an application of a similar name on there. If there is already, we're going to want to replace it with the newest version of SlideMe, which is 4.0. So I'm going to click OK. Now it's asking me, do I want to install this application? Along the bottom of the screen, I have two options, Install and Cancel. In the middle of the screen, it shows me what services this application can access. So, in this example, it can access my location, storage, network communication, and phone calls. I'm going to click Install. Now the application is installed. If I want to open the application, right from this screen, I can go down to the bottom left and select Open. The first thing I'm prompted to do is either agree or disagree to the end user agreement. I'm going to agree. Now, the application marketplace is loaded and I can browse and install applications. I can browse applications by type. So my options, if I scroll down, include fun and games, lifestyle, communication, travel. Along the top, I also have a ribbon of popular applications. Now that we have the Marketplace Hub, we want to pick an application. Lifestyle, that seems like a good category. Let's select it. Now under Lifestyle, I have all sorts of applications that I can install. And I also see which ones are free and which ones are paid. That is along the right hand corner. Now that the application marketplace is lo loaded, we can browse through applications by either sorting through categories along the bottom or sliding across the top to look at different popular applications. Pulse, that's a great application. I love using that one. It's a newsreader. 
Let's go ahead and install it so you can see how it's done. Click on the pulse icon. And now I'm going to get a window with some information about the application. This application is free, as you can see from the text on the right hand side of it. I can check the compatibility with my device by clicking compatibility. The compatibility report tells me that this application seems compatible with my tablet. That's great news. It means it's likely to work well on my Android tablet. I'm going to click the back button to get back to the install screen. The back button is located in the top right corner. Now, to download and install the application, I click Download. I'm prompted with Install or Cancel. I'm going to choose Install. Android is confirming that I want to install this application. Again, I'm going to select Install. The application is now installed. If I want to open the application, I can click Open. The first thing that pops up is a quick tutorial for how to use the Pulse application. I'm going to dismiss it. And now the application is running. It's loading news feeds from Gizmodo, TechCrunch, and others. Once you're done, just click on the home screen to take you back home. You'll notice on the home screen there's an application shortcut installed for Pulse. That way we can quickly launch it. And that's it. That's how to install applications on your Sylvania Android tablet.